get away from downtown. This is typical Danbury these days. You've got a large tree limb down on the power lines. You know, this road, it isn't even officially closed. If this were your route, would you take the risk? They keep right on rolling, right under the tree perched on the power line. Carl Johnson among them. I had to go get my mother. She has no heat and bring her to my house. And uh, you do what you have to do. To say the damage in Danbury is dramatic is an understatement. Look at this house. A tree first splitting, landing on the roof. Then the weight of it and heavy right snow the collapsing there. in. The homeowner wasn't here. Neighbors stunned by it all. The whole street, it looks like uh, Yaka Flats. You know, it's terrible. Seems every corner of Danbury is cleaning up after getting the most snow in Fairfield County, measuring in at 17.2 inches. Folks coping not only with no power, but just getting around. We found these power lines simply curled up like a snake at the end of a street. Frustrated drivers just braving it blowing right over them and right under that tree. I see total disregard for the fact that there are electrical wires. I've seen people just barrel right on through. Um, I've seen people lose their patience. Crews from Public Works are here right now trying to figure out how to remove this tree. Reporting on the scene in Danbury, I'm Erin Cox News 8.